to Chad and JT's world. I'm Chad. And I'm JT. And this is your two-minute update. We are to day 212 of no partying, and we have breaking news. Chris Evans dropped Dong. After accidentally leaking his photos to Instagram, his fans saw that he has a really prodigious hog. Nice. That's a real snow piercer, Mr. Evans. In sports news, the Tennessee Titans game with the Pittsburgh Steelers has been postponed due to an outbreak of COVID amongst the Titans locker room. Apparently the long snapper got it. His one job is not to get COVID. In financial news, Donald Trump's tax reports reveal that he expensed $70,000 on his hair, which makes one wonder why it doesn't look more like Brad Pitt's in Legends of the Fall. The first presidential debate happened last night and we discovered that the best way to win is to basically call your opponent a bitch. And I sentence, bitch. Dude. Good debate. I win. Ellen is back after moving beyond criticism that she fostered a toxic work environment, which is a major coup for her guests because her show has by far the best lighting. You have beautiful skin. Oh, thank Don't you get so much. Sure. My yeah. dog's complexion is fire. Oh, did yeah. you? Yeah. Damn. We looked good. I know. And now to our field correspondent, Strider Wilson, who's going to give us an update from the tech space. Strider? What up, dude? Uh, both Facebook and YouTube have accepted hate speech audits to keep advertisers happy, which is something I think Xbox should consider for its live game chatter, where just moments ago I was referred to as a goofy bitch by user ButtStuff98. Back to you guys, dude. Thank you, Strider. And now for the weather. The weather is super hot, reaching 90 degrees again in Los Angeles. It's awesome. In podcasting news, employees at Spotify are threatening to walk out if the company does not further censor Joe Rogan. They are begging him to get rid of the Brendan Schaub episodes. And cuisine ciabatta bread sucks. It does suck. In other cuisine news, McDonald's is now serving spicy chicken nuggets. And that does it for the two minute update. Thanks for seeing the world our way. And now to end this broadcast, we will show you a clip of CNN anchor Chris Cuomo doing a tricep press with a supposedly fake 100 pounds. <laughs> 